both Nottingham Panthers and Glasgow Clan come into this via play Elite League encounter after losing their last games. Panthers 2-0 last night in Manchester, Glasgow 5-1 to league leaders Guildford on Friday. Before previous games this season, Panthers have won all four, a streak that Glasgow will be desperate to halt. The home side of Alex DeBose starting in goal, and Craig Puffer returns to the lineup after missing the game against Manchester, while Archie Hazeldyne and Brett Walishka are out of the lineup. The clan have picked up form recently and have had two big wins against Sheffield and Cardiff in the past week. They'll desperately love another win to start the playoff hunt. Looks to get it clear, but only finds Hammond, and Hammond's got a bit of space. Hammond with the shot, bad save, Muse. Yeah, really nice save there. Uh, I think I think Tekan's impressed me this first few shifts here. Maybe maybe not turning that puck over, but apart from that, I think he's had a. He looks like a good addition here for this team. His clan, who are on the attack, is Dunbar. He's back out in front, one time shot, that wasn't far away. As you see Hammy come in here after that little turnover, get, gets a nice shot off there, but Muse, top of the crease, makes a nice save. You see that chance here, like you said, kind of came out of nowhere. I'm not sure if Dubo got a piece of that or not, but... Luke Ferrara just dumps it into the corner for Adam Brady to chase. Brady gets it around to Hammond. Oh, oh right nice. out, Ferrara! And he's going to dribble in, is it? No! Is it... Hammond is cheering, it's been waved off. I think Hammond had tried to bank it in off the back of Muse. <coughs> yeah, Fe Fed's here, really good shot by him, really nice save by Muse, jumps up in the air, and then obviously from here we couldn't really tell it. <laughs> County shoots it against Muse, it's under Muse. Looks like it's, it's probably under him there. Hammond goes in, I think he thinks he's put it over the line, he celebrates. I don't think there's going to be a review. You, if you, you can see it just down by his pad, you, oh, you can't now. He, the, the, watch, watch his right pad on the goal line. You probably can't see him. It's kind of under his pad there. The coach will be fairly happy, but again, you know they're going to they're going to want to try and make this pressure count. He's back out in front, and he's there, and it is in. Dyson Stevenson after the initial shot from Craig Peacock. Clan take the lead. Yeah, and a really nice play there. First of all, the uh, board battle one down here, as we'll just see. He wins it in front. Peacock, again, really good save by uh, Dubo. Makes a really nice save on Peacock. But Stevenson's right there on the doorstep. And he pots that one home. And the way they're playing at the minute, you wouldn't bet against them scoring another. Yeah, I, I think, you know, for, for them, it's, it's all about, you know, that you probably said they're maybe a little bit short bench still, but, you know, preserving some energy, you know, winning the shifts they think they can win. You know, they obviously know they're not going to dominate the Panthers here, but taking their chances, you know, like here, face off, get the offensive zone win, try and generate something. You know, they haven't been getting hemmed in their own zone like they were in the first period, which is a great start. Oh, it's right out in front, and oh, somehow it stays out. County with the backhand. I have no idea how that didn't cross the line. What a turnaround for them. They could, they could have been two nothing up, and now it's only one nothing, and they've got a four minute penalty to kill. Oh, I, I think Doobs gets that with a stick. I think the, the behind camera will tell us better, won't it? Doobs spins, I'm sure he gets that with the paddle of his stick. Golden opportunity for them to get on level terms, but. Oh! oh. Open that baby, and Muse recovers to make the save. Puffer with the shot. And it's Solo who makes the clearance. Debo comes out. It's Kennedy again. We're kind of going back to that territory in the first period where, you know, the clan have had an excellent period and they've, they've pushed back and they've had their own chances, but you, you're kind of getting that feeling here where, you know, clan really now, they kind of get it, get it to neutralize. See Panthers pinching down, they know they've gotten tired. Puffer, Brassard! Can't backhand it in. Muse, once again, just can't be beaten at the moment. Yeah, the, the clan desperately need a whistle here. Brassard will pick this up in the corner. Takes it behind the net, gets it right back out in front. And finally, Panthers find the net. Adam Brady, underside of the bar and in. Panthers back level. Yeah, it was it was coming. I mean, the, the clan are just dead on their feet there. They can't they can't get out of the zone. Uh, Panthers absolutely all over them, and eventually it falls to Brady there. 
and he makes a nice shot just over the glove and well deserved well deserved equalizer there yeah adam brady finding the net the thing is i i think if the clan could have got to the end of the period they could have just seen it out you know it, it would have been awesome for them but you know just under three minutes into this period a chance for clan to break away peacock will look to come on to that debate does well high risk high reward yeah that was a funny one there it was almost like a two on two and stevenson just tried to kind of loop it over the top of him and uh well mcparland's breaking away and summers is at the end great of his shift but great save by debout mcparland coming away short-handed i think i think these saves for dubot you, you know you have to remember the one obviously uh the one that got the Panthers back in the game and then you know again short-handed there or what the you know, Dubose on the power play, but a short-handed chance for the clan and again can bring it away Parland seems to have been everywhere tonight he's taken it into the zone Dunbar in there as well comes out the zone but ticking and picks it up around the boards to bow just stops it behind his net Brisson Hammond Hammond round one round another this just runs off his stick and now a chance for Hayden the other way Hayden County County and he's found the net great finish by Jordan County with 1-11 to go and is that the winner for the Glasgow clan yeah, and out of nowhere as well. Just, you know, you kind of think it's going to peter out a minute left. And uh, Hayden with a great play to dish that to County. I think Dubo thought he's going to kind of go behind the net there. And County, who uh, broke the devil's hearts last uh, on, on Friday there with, with the late winner in overtime. Again, there, great play by Hayden. He just pulls up, allows County to overtake him. I thought County was going to go behind the net and maybe set the play up in the zone. But County sees that gap. And he rips it in. Brady looking to get in towards the net. 20 seconds left. It's trapped in the corner. Panthers have to bring it out here. Welsh. Oh, what a Fires block. Wise it in, and that comes out of the zone. And I think that will probably be it. Two huge blocks by Stevenson. There's got to be a shot here. Fired in, and Muse makes a save. The buzzer goes, and it's a win for the Glasgow clan. Two goals to one. It's the first time the clan have beaten the Panthers this season. They continue their good form after huge wins against the Sheffield Steelers and the Cardiff Devils. So Adam Brady, man of the match for the Panthers from sponsors Mansfield FM. Goal scorer. Panthers go around and take their lap of honour. They will head off. Corey, talk me through the game. How did you see that one? It was a tough one. Um, yeah, I mean, we had 52 shots, I believe, and uh, you can't score goals. Uh, 95 shots over the weekend, and you score one goal, obviously you can't be happy. Uh, just about the quality of, of finishing towards the end of it. Um, you know, I, I thought last weekend we had started to progress offensively, and, you know, that's... It, it's kind of an untrue but true statement at the same time. If you're creating chances, I mean, we had so many chances today that um, we didn't finish. We also had opportunities where we either missed the net or um, somehow um, we got it blocked. Uh, but, you know, I thought uh, Glasgow showed a lot of desperation. They stuck with it. I mean, we had probably 90% possession tonight. We had the puck the whole night. Um, very rarely were we in our own zone or defending um, and the guys played really hard and, and they played really well but uh, unfortunately when you you don't score you put yourself into these positions do the players have to you know the people that you want to be scoring your goals do they have to just strip it back to the basics really well scoring is, a, is certainly a knack uh, a lot of people have it or you don't you don't see very many guys go from one goal to 30 the next year um, but consistent habits scoring in practice all these fundamentals I mean, you put them in position to score and good opportunities, and that's what I thought we did tonight, but uh, they just didn't finish. Do you feel like you're uh, 
the, the team are structured how you want them to be. We, we talked about how they were the following the plan. I mean, you look at that and, and the difference was they didn't put the puck in the net. Are there other areas of the game that you, you are impressed with? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough to be you know, crazy positive after uh, losing two games on the weekend. But, uh, you know, uh, last night I thought, you know, to be honest, we were fantastic. We had the puck a lot of the night. We did a lot of good things. And, and uh, that rink is not a rink that, uh, you know, this team's you know, traditionally done well in. So, um, and then tonight again, um, I, thought, I thought we moved the puck really well. Our trap was good. Our D zone's been, you know, it's been pretty consistent, you know, since I got here. It's been pretty good. Um, unfortunately, we just, um, yeah, uh, getting a, getting guys um, in front of the net to you know create screens and second shot opportunities. Um, it may be just a little bit of luck. You know, sometimes situations like this, is, it's not all the luck for sure. Um, you, you earn your luck. But I thought uh, you know some of the guys really played with a lot of desperation tonight. Unfortunately, um, yeah, it's, it's it's bitterly disappointing when you. Um, play really well, um, play a really nice brand, really fast, a lot of offense, but uh, there's no end product. It's got to be, I mean, I'm incredibly frustrated. I can only imagine what the fans are like. What a win for you. What, what was the difference, do you think? Uh, they definitely all played us. There's no question about it. Um, I think our, without our goaltender, it's it's probably four or five nothing in the first period. Uh, shots 17 to three. I thought it was thought it was our worst period of since I've been here for two years, but uh, you know, we, we, we come back, we have a better second, uh, still not great, and then a better third, and, you know, we just found a way to win a road game, and not, I guess, you know, I wouldn't say it was lucky, but uh, we did what it took to find a way to win. Can you see a difference now, though? Maybe a month ago, you don't win that game, probably. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, we haven't caught too many breaks this year, so, uh, you know, our goalie played a heck of a game. Like I said, if it wasn't for him, no chance. Um, but then near the end of the game, when we needed to battle, we needed to get pucks out, um, you know, before we maybe wouldn't have got those out. Now we're kind of a different team. Uh, you know, guys want to win really bad here, and uh, we found a way to get the two points. You think there's a bit more resilience and, and a backbone to the team now, maybe? Yeah, a little bit. I think, uh, well, we got some more depth, for sure. We're missing our, our best defenseman, Mitch Jones, uh, tonight. Uh, he's uh, got some family stuff going on right now, so he'll be back next week. But, you know, more depth helps, uh, you know, late in the games before we, we would be, you know, a goal away or, or even and then they'd score because, you know, we just have, didn't have the depth and, and now we have that depth, so it's helping out a lot. Yeah, you're getting a bit of scoring from many areas. I think that's Jordan County's second game winner in a couple of weeks now. Yeah, uh, I've said in my previous couple interviews, uh, you know, our goal scorers and our, and our playmakers have been doing a really good job. Um, you know, at the start of the year, I think it was kind of hit and miss who was going to score, who wasn't, and now... Uh, you know, our top guys are scoring goals when we need them to score goals, and, and that's what you ask for as a, as a coach and, uh, you know, just as a teammate.